Alright guys, welcome back to another episode here. Today we are on Deer Creek. If you caught my live beforehand, that's great. Uh, you guys would know that I messed up my save that I had originally for Deer Creek. It kind of irked me a bit, but I took that opportunity, did some editing to the map to change it around just a smidge for my own taste and what I like to do. Really all I did was I took a field, made it into a smaller one, so that way I could build a farm back here and edited the farmland and I got myself a nice little patch back here. Now if I could get these trucks to stop getting hung up on silage, which I almost got this figured out rather than dumping it off to the side and shoving it up with my tractor like I did before I got the trailers and trucks collisions and everything tires and all that stuff figured out so really all I'm doing is just trying to take the tractor and smooth it out just enough up top then I won't have a bunch of cleanup to do once we're all said and done on the bottom and I mean I'm almost uh a half a mil already in here so another trailer or two in here and will be to half a million liters which is pretty dang good I know the last one before I corrupted my save was just at 1.2 million liters so that's the same silage bunker here and I just I gotta test it let it do its fermenting thing uh oh and double check that everything works good on that and able to unload it before I release these silage bunkers. You can see the big one right there to my left. And hopefully those will be, I'll be able to pump those out here shortly too. And if you guys watched the video before this one, I did get a couple joysticks for uh, logging and whatever else I want to get into the Terra Farms side of things so it wouldn't hurt to have a couple joysticks laying around so hopefully we'll be having some more videos variety of videos coming through rather than just strictly farming and messing around with a few other things but I know as of right now I did just update course play auto drive and there's nothing major to nothing notable from what I had previously but their auto drives just throwing a fit trying to find a course to come out of this field so I gotta kinda keep an eye on all those semis out there where are they at? Well. I guess the bail guy does not like to work. We'll check the semi. Turn him around. And go right back and get that bail trailer going the right direction. I'm pretty sure they have enough room now on the end rows being out that they should be no problem I don't know why they're having an issue on trying to figure out how to get back out of the field but either way nope oh, cranked that one too hard I think I need to fix the uh, the friction on these tires. Alright, hit auto drive. What the heck are you talking about? It's right there. Jeez. Alright, where's that other tractor? Oh, 
there's auto drive. All right, let's see what needs to happen with this. I think she's in there pretty good. Gonna jam her up there even worse than what it was before. There. Irritating. When they don't work right. Alright. So the big thing I was trying to do here with this tractor was the bale loading and wrapping. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll just use it myself and we'll take it back to the farm through auto drive. But you put them on bale collecting and collecting and wrapping bales. He's supposed to find it himself. Go to the bales and pick them up then. I don't know why he's not. I was working just fine the other day for me. No job created. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. All right, now let's give this a shot. I got one more thing to try. Otherwise, I gotta go back and get the... No, it was this tractor. Yeah, I had it on this tractor with the bucket on it, or the forks on it and everything, so I don't know what the issue is. In the same way with this, I mean... We were right there. And you're saying you can't calculate the field path. Interesting. I'm not sure why everything's having an issue today. But, either way, we gotta go get that other semi off of the pile there. Should have left that one running. I wish these trailers had a stinger on them, as in bump them and be able to keep going like the side dump trailers do. Which I should try one of those side dump trailers. 
but I got a feeling they'd get hung up just as bad as they do in real life in the game, so we'll see if I ever get to it, but as of right now, I just got to make sure it's smoother, I guess. And if auto drive would know how to just, you know, make sure you got the momentum up and the speed to get through the something like this, it wouldn't be a big issue. But we're talking about computers again. Oh, that's what my issue is, is I'm not ramping it down enough at the end. So the somebody's getting hung up right there, I see. Because every time they start dumping at the beginning, they get stuck halfway through. Then they dump the rest of it halfway through. So the beginning to middle is getting plenty full. There we go. Ramp it down, just, oh, come on. If it go down just like it does in real life, fall right over, be a perfect little ramp. But we'll get this next truck dumped and back on the road, and we'll be bringing you guys back in, hopefully, after I have all of this figured out. And, uh, I gotta harvest some of this corn, throw it up in the bins to uh, to test the drying system that I put in the grain bins there. So we'll be bringing that back up to try and hope that it all works. Now what button did I put that to? There it is. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and...